Good morning, everybody. Welcome to plenary session. Uh, I have pleasure to be first presenter and uh, also have pleasure to introduce you in Croatian agriculture and present uh, basic facts on uh, Croatian agriculture. For start, a uh, few words about Croatia. Croatia is a country at the crossroads of Central and uh, Southeast Europe on the Adriatic Sea with a surface area of uh, nearly 57 square kilometers. It is ninth among the European Union countries according to size, falling between Latvia and Slovakia. Croatia is a parliamentary democracy and is organized as a unitary republic. Croatia is a member of uh, the European Union uh, from, two, from 2030, the Council of Europe, the member of United Nations, the member of NATO and the World Trade Organization. The capital city is Zagreb. It's a political, administrative, economic and uh, educational center, but also the city of culture and the arts. When we look at the statistics, we see that the Croatian state has 4.2 million inhabitants and that a total area of country is uh, 87.5 thousand square kilometers, of which the sea surface is 31 thousand square kilometers, while the continental surface is 57 square kilometers. And of course, I must not forget when we talk about Croatia, that Croatia has a great football team, so welcome to the country of Ford Football Vice Champion. Thank you. Only a few words about Dubrovnik. Unique for its impressive medieval forts, churches, monuments and palaces, Dubrovnik is often called the Pearl of the Adriatic. Dubrovnik is one of the cultural centers of Europe due to more than a thousand year old history. Dubrovnik is also a historic center referred to as the old town or the old city is encompassed by medieval walls which have been preserved in their original form and open for visitors and its major attraction. In 90 79, the old town was included in the UNESCO World Heritage Site List. And of course, a few words on Croatian uh, agriculture. In terms of, of relief and the climate, it is extremely diverse. The territory includes extensive plains in the continental region between the river Drava and the river Sava. It's called Slavonia, that region called Slavonia. And the mountains areas in the center that are region Lika and uh, Gorski Kotar. And in the west and the south along identified sunny coastline with over a thousand islands that are region Istra and Dalmatia. Uh, favorable agroclimatic conditions, landforms and the soil enable a wide range of agricultural production in Croatia, from the field and the industrial crops to vineyards, as well as continental and uh, Mediterranean fruits and uh, vegetables. Out of total of uh, approximately 
1.3 million hectares of utilized agricultural land, about 67% refers to arable land. Orchards, vineyards and uh, olive groves cover about 5%, while permanent grasslands, pastures and meadows occupy 27% of the used surface. The main product of plant production are cereals, corn with uh, 62% and wheat with 27% uh, are dominant. Croatia also has a prominent wine production with a long tradition which reflects a growing interest in its indigenous varieties of grapes in the European and the world's markets. A few words uh, about livestock sector in uh, Croatian agriculture. Animal production is present on the entire Croatian territory. The largest proportion of the production structure belongs to the small family farms, whereas the importance of large specialized farms has been rising fast in the past few decades. Animal production involves mainly cattle, sheep, and goat, pigs, horses, and uh, poultry. Few words about cattle breeding. That is the most important branch of livestock farming and is con concentrated mainly in the northeastern and the central part of Croatia. Now, this year, cow population accounted for uh, 160 uh, uh, 160,000 uh, 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 animals. The cemental breed is prevalent, uh, approximately 63%, uh, and uh, followed by Holstein with uh, 25%, and uh, we, had also, we have also small brown breed population. Small proportion is uh, related to beef and uh, different cross breeds. In 2017, uh, around 7,000 milk producers delivered about 500,000 tons of milk to the dairy industry. Sheep breeding is the most widespread, from, uh, uh, widespread form of livestock farming in the coastal region and the islands. In 2017, sheep population was around uh, 650,000 animals. Goats are reared in the coastal region as well in the northwestern part of Croatia and are comprised of uh, 8,000 uh, animals. Croatia is well known as a country with many different sheep and goat milk cheese produced on island and uh, inland based on traditional recipes. Production in pigs and uh, breeding work has a long tradition in Croatia. Uh, now in this moment uh, 100 uh, breeding sows read uh, dominantly on a large farms more than uh, ninety percent and the uh, smaller part at the family farms. The well known in Croatia are products made of uh, local autochthons black Slavonian pig breed. Something about horse breeding, uh, it's based on uh, indig in indigenous breeds which dominant in the population. The most numerous are Croatian cold-blooded horses uh, and uh, Croatian Posavina horses and of course Lipitsan horse. Uh, something about number and the structure of uh, agricultural holdings. Uh, according to the farmers register of the Pay Agency for Agriculture, Fisheries and uh, Rural Development, uh, this year, in Croatia, are 
167,000 agricultural holdings, and uh, uh, that is more than 2% than in 2017. The total number of agricultural holdings is slightly increasing, as well as family farms, also with a slight increase in total area. Observed by type of ownership, the largest number of agricultural holdings registered in the farmers' register uh, on June 30 this year was registered as a family farm. In percentage, it is nearly uh, 97 family farms in the farmers' register. Uh, something about uh, uh, using agricultural land. The largest number of farms are small agricultural holdings. On the total, uh, of the total number of farms, uh, more than 60% of agricultural holdings use up to three hectares of agricultural land that are really small holdings. On average, these farms use only 1.2 hectares of agricultural land. Only 11% 11, 11, only 11 of agricultural holdings used more than 10 hectares of agricultural land. Something about uh, macroeconomics indicators. The Croatian economy increased from 2014-2017. Uh, According to the Croatian Bureau of Statistics, GDP in uh, 2017 uh, was 363 billion Croatian kuna, and compared to the previous year, it was 2.8% higher. Also, agricultural activity in the 2017 realized the value of production in the amount of uh, 15 billion Croatian kunas. Compared to uh, 2016, the value of agricultural production decreased by 3%. Only a few words on foreign trade of agricultural products in Croatia, according also, according to the Croatian Bureau of Statistics, in the period from January to December last year, the value of exports of agricultural and the food products was 1.9 billion euro, while the value of imports of agricultural and the food products amounted to 2.96 billion euro. Foreign trade in agricultural and food products in 2017 had a deficit of 1.04 billion euros. Uh, in output of the total agricultural industry, according to official data from Central Bureau of Statistics. In 2070, output of the agricultural industry was nearly 16,000 million Croatian kuna, and the, in the re relation to previous year decreased by 3%. In the total value of agricultural activities, proportion of the livestock production is 34%, and there is a slight decline in the share value of livestock production. A few words on impact of accession to the EU. As I said, we became a full member of uh, EU in 2030. The assessment of the impact of Croatia's accession to the EU for agriculture made in uh, 2007, for so that uh, in the short term the costs of accession would be relatively high, whereas the benefits would become apparent in the long term. 
There are several reasons for that. The most significant change in agriculture caused by Croatian accession to the EU was the opening of market for EU imports and the consequent shrinking of market for many Croatian agricultural producers. Unlike for other new member states, the accession to the EU did not result for Croatia by opening of new export markets because Croatia was granted duty-free access to the EU since 2000 for almost all products. Exceptions were wine, baby beef, sugar and some fisheries products. For other new member states, uh, an important benefit of accession was the higher financing of their agricultural sectors. Most of those countries, except Slovenia, had before accession significantly lower levels of support for their agricultural sectors. In the case of Croatia, the situation was different. Croatia implemented a relatively high and constantly increasing agricultural budget in the pre-accession period with direct payments which were at the level of direct payments in the EU. Therefore, in terms of financing of farmers, the main change were the increased opportunities provided by the Rural Development Fund. Lastly, an important immediate benefit of accession for farmers in other new member states was an increase of agricultural prices because prior to accession, those countries had mainly lower prices for agricultural products. Again, the situation was different in Croatia, where the prices of agricultural products in some sectors were even higher than those in the EU, for example, in the milk sector. Such sectors experiences significant difficulties after accession, after accession to the EU. Uh, program uh, of rural development. Uh, we expect uh, uh, great, we expect big help for uh, development uh, for all our agricultural sectors, especially in the li livestock sectors. Uh, and uh, at this slide, uh, we can uh, see our main objectives in uh, rural development program. Uh, in the future of the common agricultural policy in, uh, uh, from uh, Croatian view, our priorities. Uh, the European Commission published on the 1st June its legislative proposals for the common agricultural policy after 2020. The proposals foresee some significant changes in the EU agricultural policy in terms of policy planning and uh, implementation. The discussion at EU level about those proposals are the initial stage and we do not know what the outcome will be. However, many member states, Croatia included, are concerned that CAP might be even more complex than it is today. The CAP legislative proposals are closely linked to the proposed future agricultural budget of the European Union, which according to the European Union will be lower than in the current programming period. This is an issue for most of the member states and Croatia shares the view that the level of financing of the CAP must be kept in the different objectives of the CAP are to be achieved. Another priority for Croatia is to ensure flexibility for member states in design and implementation of the policy as well as real simplification of the CAP. Uh, I mentioned earlier the importance of uh, rural development, but uh, important is also uh, direct payment, especially for us in livestock sector, voluntary 
coupled support uh, that is uh, most interesting uh, in Croatia for livestock sector and we would like to keep this support in the period post 2020. And uh, finally, a uh, few words about uh, main strategic goals. Croatia's agri-food sector competitiveness is weakened by low productivity, high cost of doing business and increased climate risks. The weak competitive position of Croatia's agri-food sector has been reflected in negative trade balances and uh, limited foreign direct investment, increased domestic demand, changing consumer preferences in EU markets, and the significant EU investments support present strategic growth opportunities for Croatia's agri-food sector. So government of Croatia should invest in targeted program in innovations and strengthen the enabled environment for agri-food business development to achieve these goals. And thank you for your attention.